Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am the local watch guy and today I have an exciting video for you guys. But before we begin, I would just like to tell you guys that thank you for reaching above 200 subscribers. I am extremely grateful for each and every one of my supporters. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned and enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's not waste time. Let's get straight into the video. So firstly, you all know that I have the beautiful Casio Oak or uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, the G-Shock Royal Oak, uh, as you know, the octagonal shape, beautiful watches. I have uh, three of them and I did not buy the whole complete collection because honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the red one and the black one was kind of hard to find, but since they're up in price, I just believe uh, I'm not gonna pay above premium for a G-Shock, and uh, it's just my opinion personally, but let's see what we added to the collection. So, this is the, as you can notice, uh, it is a completely different packaging than the previous uh, Casio Oaks that I've purchased. It's like a metallic uh, kind of gray background, but just similar plastic packaging. And you'll know from the reference code what type of watch this is. And I'll show you right now. So initially, I posted about this watch when I was in Sogun Barquilla, and I was skeptical to buy it. I just thought, you know, I don't really need it. It's just another different colorway. But then again, it's just, it's so beautiful. I couldn't resist, you know, like I thought to myself, just get it because you'll regret it and believe it or not. And I don't know if this is true, but they told me this was the last piece in Kuwait because initially I actually contacted uh, G-Shock twice from two different numbers. And the first time I submitted the order for this watch and the second time they told me that it was not available. So I guess I would say I'm the last one to buy this here in Kuwait. So this is the price, it is 50 KD. So this is around $165, give or take, uh, which is slightly more expensive than the previous Casio Oaks, but just look at that colorway, guys. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? The metallic gray, you know, it has that like Nardo gray, you know, every time you see these uh, beautiful cars wrapped in Nardo gray, this is, sort of the same type of uh, color, but it is an absolutely beautiful colorway. And the reason I got this is because it actually matches uh, one particular shoe that I have, which I will show you in the end of the video. Um, and it's just, it, it, it's, it completes the outfit and makes it look overall really, really nice. So uh, let's try this watch on the wrist and see how it feels. Obviously, I'm gonna keep the tag on because uh, I personally believe that, in my opinion, I just take the tags off when I start to wear the watch and go out. Obviously, I'm not gonna go out with the tag on, but you know, to try it on and whatnot, I'll just uh, keep it on for the video. All right, so we'll see how this feels and fits. Fits extremely nicely, guys. Wow, look at that. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That is extremely gorgeous. I did hear from a friend, uh, and I'm not sure how accurate this is, and the information is probably not 100% confirmed, but I did hear that this is a limited run. Um, they're not making uh, a lot of these, and I wouldn't say limited edition, but a limited run. Um, I haven't seen any online. I'm pretty sure they're flooded on eBay, but um, in terms of the official uh, US G-Shock website, uh, it says it's out of stock, and it was just an absolute beautiful colorway. I just had to, had to get it. Uh, then again, you know, the red one didn't interest me. Also has the easy, you know, you just slide this uh, pin here and you can remove the strap very easily. I absolutely love this feature. As you can see, the carbon core guard. Um, I'm not gonna fully go into the specification of this G-Shock, but uh, has the useful light function. Where's the button? Here it is. Uh, apparently has the uh, 
double LED light. Uh, it's super bright in the dark and overall a very functional tool watch yet good looking. Um, the reason I like this Casio Oak instead of all the other G-Shocks is because of how thin it is. You know, a lot of the Casio uh, watches, especially the G-Shock clients, are extremely bulky and there's nothing wrong with that but it's just not my cup of tea personally. Go ahead and measure this. Um, you'll see that the thickness of the watch is only 11.78 millimeters and if you can go ahead and measure the diameter of the watch it is around 45 um, if you measure it yeah 46 give or take 45 but um, it actually doesn't feel that big on the wrist uh, just because of how thin it is even if you put on the watch and I have well fairly large wrists I would say but it is extremely extremely lightweight let's put this on the scale and see how much it weighs you'll see that it weighs around 50 49 grams similar to all the other casio oaks that i weighed in the previous video which i'll be linking right up here in the video and you'll get to see the full review on why the casio oaks are a must in your digital collection um, if you collect digital watches like myself and even if you don't this is an absolutely super useful and convenient to a watch to own. So the packaging of the watch is also very nice, um, just metal, but again, has like the gray brushing uh, background on it. Uh, very nice, very cool looking. Um, you know, if you don't have a watch box, you can just store this watch in here and it will probably protect it from uh, dropping or store it away from dust. So that's pretty cool from G-Shock as well, you know? Reference for this watch is the GA211OET-8ADR. Extremely long and boring uh, reference, but <laughs> it is an absolute beauty. And let me show you the loom of the watch and how bright it is. And Casio isn't known for their loom. I've owned G-Shocks uh, when I was a kid and a lot of them didn't have loom. They had the light feature, which I'll be showing you in the dark as well, but the loom on this is absolutely amazing. So not only the swatch is super functional, but believe it or not, it is water resistant up to 200 meters. That is 330 feet. An extremely impressive amount, which I don't think I'll be even diving to that extent if I'm gonna be fully honest with you guys. But nevertheless, um, the modern design of digital watches has come such a far uh, road. You know, we were used to, uh, I would say, big sort of uh, with super big dimensions uh, in the previous history of uh, digital watches. And this one is just so sleek and stealth looking. I wouldn't mind wearing it quite previously. Um, I was, uh, wearing the yellow and green ones uh with the casio oaks however this will uh, seem to be matching a lot of my uh outfits and i find it to be crucial you know that a watch has to match my outfit i cannot buy a red watch and just throw it on any outfit i wear so this is why this watch was a instant purchase for me so i'm extremely proud of my collection um so the gray the pink and purple combo the black uh, and yellow, as well as the camo green and the black dial as well. So this is the all gray on gray, and believe it or not, even this is actually gray. So the pin to put inside the uh, bracelet of the watch or the strap, and it's just an absolute um, beauty. I would say it has that like stone kind of grayish, so if you do ever see this in person, do give it a look and believe me, you will not regret it. So to me personally, it is extremely important to get a watch that would uh, match most of my outfits. Now, the reason I didn't get the red one is because, you know, it's hard to style with. Um, I know a lot of collectors out there that simply bought all the Casio Oaks and I respect that, that's pretty cool. But me personally, I only bought the ones that I like and um, 
this has like these sort of stone-ish gray, northern grayish look and um, it's just overall pretty looking cool color, you know. Um, you can't go wrong with it for its price. It's pretty hard to beat, you know. It's just uh, $160 depending on where you live or your currency and um, if you put tax and all the other stuff uh, into consideration. Um, I would say in my country it is a tad bit more pricey, you know. Obviously they took uh, demand into consideration uh, when they price this, otherwise it will be less than 160 but nevertheless to me it is a gorgeous looking watch um simple very simple but does its job perfectly that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching um if you have enjoyed this please like the video and don't forget to subscribe and let me know what your thoughts are on the gray casio oak is it worth it that i added it to my collection or is it just a waste of money considering that it's only around $160, um, give or take, depending on your currency and where you are. Um, other than that, to me, it's a nice looking watch. You know, you can't go wrong with it for its price. And do let me know what your thoughts are on the watch and stay tuned and take care.